Hello and welcome to this Electrical Principles training video. In this video we're going to consider the next subject in our series on SR units and we're going to have a look at the SR units for the quality of resistivity. Now in a previous video we looked at the units for resistance and we saw that that was measured in ohms, it had the mathematical symbol capital R and the unit symbol omega. But what we're going to do in this video is look at this related but different subject of resistivity. So first of all let's ask the question what is resistivity? Well, in short, it is the specific resistance of a given material. So let's take copper as an example. So if you travelled to a copper mine in, say, South America and got some copper ore from there, uh, if you went to a copper mine in perhaps Africa or in Australia or China or indeed anywhere in the world, in fact, even if you went to a copper mine on Mars and mined some copper from there, if you took the ore from all of those different sites processed it, refined it until you just had pure copper left and then you took that sample of copper, again one from each of those different areas, and machined it until you had a cube of copper that measured one millimetre by one millimetre by one millimetre. What you'd find is that if you measured the resistance of that piece of copper from one face to the other, you would find that for every single sample, no matter where it came from, whether it's South America, Africa, Australia, China, Mars, each sample of copper, after it's been refined and machined down to that size, would have exactly the same value of resistance from face to face. And that value of resistance is what we call the resistivity of the material. It is the specific resistance of a given material. Coppers, for example, is often quoted at 17.2 microohm millimetres. So that's what resistivity is, and, and different materials have different resistivity values. Uh, and it actually gives a good indication of how good a conductor is. So the lower the resistivity of the material, the better a conductor it is. So again, if you look at a chart showing different values of resistivity, you'll very soon find that something like silver has one of the best resistivities of a single element that we're aware of. So that's resistivity, a nice simple unit to consider. Now, what we're going to do for the second part of this video, uh, after we've been through the units, is we're going to have a look at where the unit comes from. So, this isn't something that you necessarily need to know uh, in order to pass your exams or to sort of work as an electrician. However, I do get asked this question a lot when I'm delivering this material. Uh, where does this unit come from? Why is it measured in that unit? So we'll try and answer that for you as the video progresses. But before we get onto that, let's just have a look at our worksheet. Uh, hopefully we've got this downloaded from previous videos in this series. If not, click the link in the description below and download that worksheet and you'll be able to fill it in as follows. So for the worksheet, we're looking at the line marked resistivity. And for the mathematical symbol, we're going to put in there a uh, Greek letter, and it's the Greek letter rho. And it looks a little bit like this. It's kind of like a, a, a P that's kind of lying on its side. It's kind of fallen over a little bit. So that is the Greek letter rho, and that is the mathematical symbol. Uh, the unit that we measure it in, we measure resistivity in something called ohm meters. Now that's really important that we remember that, and we don't get confused into thinking that is ohms per meter. It isn't. It's ohm meters. Now this is perhaps uh, one of the first units that we've come across in this series where the unit doesn't have its own special name. So we've looked at uh, volts, amperes, ohms, coulombs, but this is the first in this series where we've come across a unit that doesn't have its own specific name. It's actually a combination of two other SI units, the unit of resistance and the unit of distance or length as well. And you can see there we've got ohms from resistance and meters for length. And again, we'll explain why exactly we do that in just a moment. And that leads us on very nicely to the next kind of part of this, where we look at the unit symbol. And because the unit is the ohm meter, then we very simply replace those two letters with their relevant symbols. So we put in a uppercase omega, which looks like this, and then a lowercase m for meter. So that gives us ohm meter. Now, as we say, that might be a little bit kind of bemusing at first. Here we've got the first unit that doesn't have its own specific uh, kind of name. But actually, we've probably come across these an awful lot before. If you think about the measurement of speed or velocity, we measure that in miles per hour, technically. And again, when we get to this part of the video, we'll, of this series, we'll look at this in meters per second, which is the actual unit. But can you see there that it doesn't have its own special name? It's just a combination of two other 
SI units. So we've got uh, for velocity, we'd put meters per second, and for resistivity, we've got ohm meters. So those are the key points to take away from the first part of this video. Uh, resistivity is the specific resistance of a given material. It is measured in ohm meters. The mathematical symbol is the Greek letter rho, and the unit symbol is an omega followed by lowercase m. So we've got omega m, ohm meters. So again, if we were to write that down, it might look something like this. We might put rho equals 17.2, and in this case, we'll say micro ohm millimeters. So we've got those multiples and sub multiples there. Uh, a word on that in a future video on multiples and sub multiples because we've got to be a little bit careful about that micro ohm millimeter business. But again, watch a, a future video uh, for a little bit more information about that. Okay, so let's now answer that question that we looked at earlier in the video. What is the ohm meter? Why do we measure this unit in ohm meters? Uh, well, to answer that, uh, we'll have a look at the calculation that we can use to calculate the resistance of a material using its resistivity, its length and its cross-sectional area. Now there are other videos on my channel that go into the subject of resistivity and this formula in much more detail. But for now, just trust me, the formula looks like this. Its resistance is equal to rho, the resistivity, times by the length of the conductor divided by A, the cross-sectional area of the conductor. So what we've got to do now is try and transpose this formula to make rho the subject because that's going to help us to understand where this unit actually comes from. So to transpose this, and again, watch out for a future video on more detail on transposition, but here the last thing we do is divide by the cross-sectional area. So we'll get rid of that first. The opposite of dividing by A is to times by A. If we times both sides by A, we get R times A on this side is equal to, we've divided by A and times by A, so this has disappeared to leave us with rho L, like that. And then we want to get uh, resistivity by itself. We're currently timesing it by L. The opposite of timesing by L is to divide by L, which means that we're going to divide both sides by L, which means we end up with RA divided by L is equal to rho, like that. And just for the sake of kind of clarity, we'll just swap these over. So we've got rho is equal to resistance times by uh, cross-sectional area divided by length. Again, if you're wondering where this formula suddenly sprang from, don't worry too much about it. There are other videos on the channel that go into resistance and resistivity in a lot more depth, uh, but this is just uh, to illustrate where this unit actually comes from. Now I'm going to do something a little bit unusual now. I'm going to kind of break maths a little bit, so this will probably uh, massively distress uh, anyone out there who's uh, watching this and feels that maths needs to be done in a very specific and ordered way, which is quite right. Uh, but what I'm going to do here now is I'm just going to uh, replace uh, the mathematical symbol for the unit symbol. Now we don't do this when we do it in maths, it's not the way it's done, but I'm just illustrating a point here. So we replace the R with its unit symbol, which is resistance, which is the omega symbol, so we've got ohms, and then we're gonna uh, times that by cross-sectional area. Now bear in mind that the cross-sectional area of a square uh, piece of cross-section uh, would be the length in meters times by the length in meters. So that's actually meters times meters, which is meters squared, which is the area of a uh, rectangular uh, surface. And then we're gonna divide that by the length again in meters. So we've just swapped out the mathematical symbols for the unit symbols. Now again, we don't normally do this in math. There's no reason to do this. We're just doing this here uh, just to kind of illustrate a point here. Now, if you look at what we've got over here, uh, if we break this down and look at this, we've got uh, omega times m times m divided by m. So on the end here, we're, we're timesing by m, and then we're dividing by m. So if you times by something and then divide by that same something, it cancels out. It's like it never existed. So what that leaves us with is rho is equal to omega times by this first m, but that m and that m have very simply disappeared. So can you see that actually what we're left with here now is the unit that we measure resistivity in, which is ohms times meters. And in algebra, you can ignore the multiplication symbol and just put ohms times meters like that. And that is the reason why the symbol, the unit symbol, or the unit rather, that we measure resistivity in is the ohm meter. It very simply starts from 
this formula and then we just kind of get rid of the unnecessary parts of this where it's performing one action cancels out another action. And that leaves us with the unit for resistivity, which is the ohm meter. So remember, when you see this, it's not ohms per meter. You may be tempted to think that, but it's not. It is ohms times meters, but actually we just call it the ohm meter. So key things to take away from this uh, particular video, uh, the mathematical symbol for resistivity is rho. Uh, the unit is the ohm meter and the unit symbol is omega m and remember resistivity is that specific resistance of a given material. Now this is incredibly useful for us as electricians because once we know the specific resistance of a material like say copper we can then take that value and use it to figure out what uh, any uh, piece of conductor made out of copper what its resistance will be. As long as we know its length and its cross-sectional area and its resistivity we can figure out what its resistance will be. And that, as you progress through your electrical career, will become one of the most important things that you need to know when you're installing cables. What is the total resistance of this circuit going to be? It becomes absolutely critical for making sure that your circuits comply with the relevant wiring regulations. So watch out for that in uh, your future studies as an electrician. All that remains in this video is to say, thank you very much for watching.